Hello, and welcome to Wedge Network's Introduction to Data Loss Prevention functionality on Wedge OS. My name is Joe Bullman, and I'm a Senior Architect at Wedge Networks. This video will cover some of the capabilities of DLP at the network with the Wedge OS enabled Security Gateway BSecure. Wedge OS DLP scans all internet protocols, including encrypted sockets, and supports over 400 document formats. My demo network consists of a workstation on a local network with a WedgeOS enabled BSecure appliance transparently monitoring all outbound and inbound internet traffic. The first thing I will do is set up some example DLP policies. I'm going to create a policy to protect the entire network and block access. The first policy will be a unstructured data protection. We will choose the PCI standard for credit card numbers. And we'll also create a structured policy for watermarked documents. And let's say our company is called ABC Incorporated. We'll call this ABC Confidential. That will be our document watermark applied by our document management system, for example. So we add that policy, and we can see we have a policy protecting the entire network for ABC Confidential Watermark and credit card numbers PCI compliance. Now for documents, I have several documents I have a clean document that we can use to test and just verify that the positive case works. I have structured data that, for example, could be from a document management system. And we can see the ABC confidential tag that's marking this document as confidential and also the Word document. And lastly, we have some what we call unstructured data. So these are documents without any meta information, but contain critical keywords in the content. In this case, a valid credit card number. This is a test credit card number, but it's valid in that it passes the LUN checksum for credit card validity. And then we have the same document in a PDF format. So the first case that I'll do is HTTP outgoing. In this case, we'll do outgoing webmail. So we have a test Gmail account. Notice it's HTTPS. And we'll compose a new message. And we'll attach, first of all, let's, let's attach the, the clean document. And this should attach no problem. Success. Now, let's try attaching the XSL spreadsheet that has the watermark. And that failed. Let's try the Word document. Same thing. The vSecure has blocked those documents because it detected the ABC confidential keyword. Let's try the documents that contain credit card numbers. Once again, the Word document is blocked because of a credit card number detection. And the PDF document is blocked for the same reason. Now let's just send this email. It's telling us that some of the attachments could not be attached. We know that. And when we go in there, we'll see that only the newsletter, the clean document, was allowed to go through. All the other documents were refused. Another use case that we'd like to, to demonstrate is outgoing SMTP. This is the same email account as the webmail account, but this is an SMTP client. So we'll create a new message. And we'll 
attach one of our credit card containing documents and see it's attached and we'll try to send and we can see that it did block the attachment because it contained a credit card number it shows you the last four digits of the credit card number there another use case that I'd like to demonstrate is a reverse of the outgoing so HTTP incoming so this is a simulation of a corporate website where a hacker potentially is trying to extract sensitive information from a corporate website in this case we'll use a simple Google search and we're going to search for credit card numbers and we know that we have a policy in place that won't allow credit card numbers to be extracted from the website and we can see that it indeed was blocked so let's go and see what the WedgeOS BSecure appliance reported and we can see several blocked policies being invoked over HTTPS and SMTP TLS and we can see the document types and the reason so an Excel document a Word document with the confidential watermark and then we can see also the Word and the PDF with the credit card numbers and we can see the uh, SMTP with the tester wedge outgoing destination and then lastly we can see the attempt to uh, extract search information with credit card numbers these DLP features of the Wedge Networks WedgeOS deep content inspection technology are available on appliance, VM and cloud provision footprints all functionality is available on all internet protocols such as HTTP, SMTP, IMAP, POP3 and HTML5 WebSockets for more information on WedgeOS DLP or other WedgeOS security modules such as antivirus, anti-spam and web filter technologies please visit our website at www.wedgenetworks.com or contact us directly at the contact shown. Thanks for joining us and I hope you enjoyed this introduction to DLP on WedgeOS.